Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps. I hope you're doing well today. We are going to be making a card from the latest release. We are going to be using this adorable little stamp set called Hedge Hugs along with the matching dies. We're going to be using some white paper. We're going to be making a square card. And we're going to be using this paper pad. It's called Autumn Afternoon. It's a an older paper pad. And this is the paper we're going to be using from that paper pad. A sweater pattern and then this plaid uh, pattern. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the paper cut down to a four by four. This card will eventually be a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and get that cut down and then we'll move on over to our next step. The next thing we're going to do is stamp out the hedgehogs here and what i'm doing is actually stamping this out onto uh, the pattern paper here because what i'm going to do is fussy cut the scarf out and then place that paper piece it onto the card so i'm just using some honeybee stamps um, intense black ink here and we'll go ahead and get this stamped out so that we can cut out the scarf and while we're at it we are also going to go ahead and stamp out uh, the images on a white piece of paper as well because I'm going to do some Copic coloring. I have also added a few other stamps to this set because I'll be doing Copic coloring with that and I believe I added the sentiment as well. So we're going to get this all done in one stamping here so we don't have to continue to stamp separate items. I'm going to get that good and covered up with the intense black ink and go ahead and get that stamped over. Press a little firmly so that we get a good impression, and then we'll be good to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is we are gonna cut out the scarf uh, that I had stamped out earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pair of scissors here and fussy cut this out. I'm not gonna show you the whole process because it could be tedious and it's no fun to watch and it's no fun to do but sometimes you do things in crafting that you have to do even if it's not fun you know like put your stamps in sleeves <laughs> all right so here we go i'm just doing the final touches on the scarf here i want to make sure that i get them all good and squared away and yeah they fit perfectly onto the hedgehogs in the, the magic of the internet the images are colored with Copics. What we're going to do now is just place the dies on all of the items here on the piece of paper and we'll go ahead and run that through the die cutting machine. Again, you know, I love honeybee stamps because they have a die for their sentiments, which is amazing. And so here you're going to see me just place all of them onto the paper and then we're going to go ahead and get those cut through the die cutting machine. And now that we have everything cut out, we are going to go ahead and start putting the card together, actually. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some 3M foam tape, and we're going to place these uh, bad boys onto the card. There we go. I'm going to place the heart on first, and then I'm going to place some 3M foam tape on the back with the hedgehogs. And then we'll follow suit with the other items onto the card here, which will be the leaves and the sentiment and all that jazzy stuff. There we go. We have the sentiment going down. Good thing about plaid, you guys, is you don't have to worry about getting your sentiment even unless you've cut the paper. Um, not the right way, but anyway, this will complete the card. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting Honeybee Stamps and myself doing these videos for you guys. We truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Instagram and check them out there. And you can also check me out on Instagram and YouTube by searching for Bro Marrow Cards. Also, this is probably the shortest video I've ever done for Honeybee Stamps, which I'm kind of surprised actually, but... <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.